How's it going guys? Today I'm going to continue the push mower repair. We're going to re-thread that spark plug and I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, if you remember in the last video that spark plug shot out across the garage. So we're going to go ahead and repair it today. Stay tuned. So the two things that we're going to need today is the spark plug re-threader and then a gasket or a thread locker. All right, so the first thing that you're gonna do is take and spray some lubricant inside the spark plug hole. You can also use what they call cutting fluid. You wanna do that so that it lubes up when you go ahead and cut it. And what you're gonna need is a wrench or a ratchet with a 13 16 head on it, socket. So you can put that in there and then go ahead and cut those threads. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this one last time so you can get a better view. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and start cutting the threads. Okay, so now that I went ahead and sprayed some lube in there, I'm going to go ahead and take this here. I'm going to put it right in there and I'm going to go ahead and try and thread it just a little bit like this. Okay, there we go. I'm going to go ahead and take my socket, and you want to make sure it's straight and level. That way, it'll go in nice and smooth when you put in the, the new thread kit. There we go. Do it nice and slow, because you want to do it right the first time. And you're gonna pull it on, you're gonna see little shards, little threads. Go ahead and make sure that you're gonna pull them all out. And what I'm gonna use is I'm gonna use a magnet later on, and that's gonna go ahead and get all those threads out as well. Now what the first part of this re-threader does is it goes through and it kind of grinds all the remaining threads out. And then there's a second part out on there. And that's actually what does the thread cutting. Yeah, there we go. Get them all nice and clean. Now I'm going to add some more lubricant. There we go. and clean. Now the one thing I like about this threader here is it has little grooves in here that hold all of the excess shots, which is really nice that they don't actually go into the engine. very important for you to do that. You don't want to make shards inside the engine. I apologize if you can hear my kids in the background. They're outside riding their bikes.
and we are almost done. We're about to cut the threads here. Just make sure you line it up nice and straight. I think we have got them snug and we want to go ahead and cut the threads. Here we go. Nice and straight. Alright, I'll be right back guys. Now the one way that you know that you're threading is it gets inherently difficult to turn it and then it gets a little bit locked in. So as you're going like this, it's actually cutting those grooves. Up, and then it gets really, really loose. So then I'm going to back it out. And I'm going to go back in. And it's nice. Now you don't want to go too far in because you don't want to come into the piston and do anything to damage that piston. like this. As you can see, a whole lot of dust on there, a whole lot of metal. And as you look in here, it has been re-threaded. And it looks great. Alright, so now it's time to pick the new thread. So it has varying sizes with this. So there's the smallest one, there's the largest one. Obviously for the plug that, that needs to go in it, we're going to have to use the smallest one. So this is it right here and you can go ahead and make sure it works. Just by putting it in, just like that. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of the gasket sealing on here and I'm going to put it around those threads. And then I'm going to thread it into there and then go ahead and let it dry and then we can go ahead and put the new spark plug in. All right, so I got some gasket sealer right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and put it on coils here. And you only need a little bit, you don't need a whole lot. You just wanna make a good seal because obviously that's your combustion chamber there. All right, go ahead and seal that up. Go ahead and use something to spread it around. And you can also use thread locker or anything like that. Alright, so that's good. Now we're going to go ahead and put it in. And you're just going to screw this in, and then you're going to go ahead and let that dry. And you're going to go ahead and put your new spark plug in. It should be good. All right, now we got the moment of truth. I'm going to go ahead and prime it a few times. I'm going to start it. See if it goes. So we're going to leave it off from there. I want to go ahead and fasten everything up, but now you know how to go ahead and re-throw out a spark plug.